Restringing a 12 foot Christmas tree is actually a lot harder than you would think it would be. Stupid Christmas tree light! Oh, I'm really fried. All right, you guys, I didn't get any sleep last night because I was just up worrying about those stupid Christmas tree lights. Ugh. I'm off to Walmart. Arr! Stopping in my tracks. Got to go back and get a light so that I can compare it to the ones at Walmart and get the right ones. Ugh. Okay, I got to grab one of these burnt out little fellers. Maybe I'll just grab two in case I forget. I should lose one or something. Okay, well, this is like the modern day Matchbox Girl. What's a Matchbox Girl? Don't you come home until you find the right Christmas light. <sighs> How many do you think I need? Like, how many does it say the box has? Like 53,000 light tr Christmas tree? 12 foot, 1,050 L or 1050 OL? Lights, 1,050 lights. So I will buy 1,000 lights. <laughs> But if that's more expensive than buying a new tree, don't buy that. Okay. I, oh, I thought about just buying Christmas tree lights and just cutting off the old ones and restringing it. Well, that's the thing too, like just do what you have to do. I'll do the math. All right, I'm going in. I'm mentally preparing myself to give moral support to the other people, the other parents that are in the aisle of the Christmas lights because we know it's not a, it's a dark place to be. Oh, that's great. I'm literally the only one here. I already looked at the other Christmas trees just trying to think, should I just buy a new one? <sighs> Crap. Now I have this dilemma. Cool or warm? I don't know. I mean, clear mini lights. I feel like that's what it looks like. No, no, no. Clear. I don't know. Well, now what do I do? told him how many lights were burnt out. He's all, what? I'm tempted to get these cool ones and just restring the whole freaking tree. Okay. I found the ones I need, I think. They just have burned, bulbs stay lit if one burns out. Problem is, is that the ones I need are way down there. Hey guys, I'm actually out in the middle of my run. Right before I left my run, I started watching this video of it's an Elton John commercial, and it shows him at the end of his career sitting down at a piano, and it goes back in time, scene after scene after scene, he gets younger and younger, and it shows his like his skill and his personality progressing, and it gets down to when he's young, like 10 in a piano recital, and it shows his mom just um, cheering him along the whole way, and um, it goes back to when he was just a, like a four-year-old boy and he gets a piano for Christmas. And it, remind, it, it reminded me of like what, what God sees in each of us. Uh, that he, he sees the end, he sees what our full potential is. And there's so many kids out there that they don't see their potential. And they're ending their lives, they're hating their lives, they're depressed, they don't see the end, that we're literal children of God. And it's like, it's making me emotional think about it. It's like, it's, it was just the sweetest, sweetest little bit. It was actually commercial, but it was like totally making me cry. And like, God sees the end. He sees the end and he's cheering us along the whole way. We just have to get, don't give up and, and we'll make it there and we'll see our potential once we get there. But. Um, I don't know, that's just my thought while I'm out running. I had to talk to you guys right now, so. Yeah. Found this at Walmart, too. Best days. Hashtag. Hey. April alone at Besties. Walmart in the Christmas sections are dangerous. Get the full, full effect. <laughs> Do you have any large pom-pom balls I can borrow? Wow, there they are. Where are you? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. so. About freaking time that the scientists figured this out because we've been flying in airplanes for years, but no, they just figured out how to get lights to stay on even if one burns out. Yeah, yesterday I'm like, this is a bad system. We're walking Ooh. on the moon, we're driving electric cars. How is there not a better system for Christmas lights? And then we found out there was. And there was. I have to cut off all of the old light lights now. This is a much bigger project than I was thinking. 
I mean, we but you know that it, it's possible and it will work. Yes, at the I end. need you to disassemble the tree. Yes, piece by piece. That's piece what I was going to tell you. I'm it glad will I got be the top down. down. To get the top oh, down. Right. I'm going to start with the littlest top. I'm going to do this. All right. Calculated, scientifically continues. calculated that there was a hundred lights on this top part. So. Trying to re secure. You're just gonna wrap them, wrap it all the way up? This is Halloween. EB, EB, it's Christmas. No Halloween music. Mrs. <laughs> Halloween. No, no Mrs. Halloween. Mrs. Christmas. Mrs. Halloween. <laughs> Alright, so the problem that I'm finding is that these lights have a lot more space between the bolts that much space is between the bulbs. On these newer lights, there's a lot less space. So there's like more light bulbs on every branch. I'm a little worried about that. because so I gotta show you like how different it is. For every two bulbs, there's four on this one. See that? Four bulbs for the same width as these two. So that kind of concerns me because it's gonna be really bright and really hot. It says you can hook five, like piggyback five of these into one outlet. So I still think it might work because I have an extension cord. Like the tree was kind of set up like that too. Like it had like five or eight like stacked I know that the tree ones were specially made for it, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it work and still be safe. Cause I can have five stacked together and then into one outlet. And then I have an extension cord that has three different outlets on it, but then it's all into the same outlet. So then that's 15. That's, I don't know if it means like piggybacked on top of each other or if that means like to the outlet itself. But I've only, I've used a hundred lights and I've not been able to even get the whole top of that tree because they're so close together. Like the cord is way shorter. So that means that the length of this is a four, like four times shorter than the length of the ones I'm cutting off. So it turns out I need the four inch spacing ones. And I did find some on Amazon, but I'm just wanting to get it done today. So I'm gonna go look at Walmart again. <sighs> Two hours later. Oh, just got back from the grocery store, you guys. No, I had to return all those lights. I had to go to Home Depot. Should have just started going there in the first place, but it's further away. And I found the right lights. <sighs> and they're LED, they don't get hot. You can have 30 on one strand light, one light. 30 of these can go into one socket, so. We have solved the problem. Let's do this. Let's fix our Christmas tree. Okay, so I got the top down. The journey continues. Oh, they're LEDs, so they have like the rolling shutter problem. It's showing weird on there, like yeah. It's showing. So I'm gonna try. Let's see if one light affects all of the strand. I well, taking it out, I think will affect it. it. I can't get it, my fingernail's too thick. Yes, it did affect that whole strand. Yeah, just hope that Let's they don't go out for, for 22 years. So it says like LEDs last a lot longer. Okay, 13. Three years guaranteed. 15 Thir holiday seasons. 13 to 20 last. more boxes. So it's like the weirdest rolling shutter problem. In real life, it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the tree. And then these monkeys are playing on this, and I almost stopped them, but Gabe said, don't be hot. Kids climb on things. Yeah, we'll figure they're it out. fine. I know kids can't really do anything on YouTube, but we're gonna, I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna take the risk. They're, they're fine. I have something to tell Ender. It's a big surprise, so I'm gonna tell him right now. Guess what, bud? Guess what we're doing today? Oh, I like what you're doing. I'm trying to get Dad's on because I fell off. Do you want to go to the movie theaters today and see Wreck-It Ralph? Yes. Ralph breaks the internet. Here, you hold this. It's out. And I'm going to take you to see it. Yeah, <laughs> ba And get you popcorn. <gasps> and soda. And candy. Yeah. Are you excited, bud? Uh -huh. Guess what? I'm going to take you to the movie. <gasps> yeah. All right, guys, we've been doing this for Multiple hours. Oh, it? April's not letting me eat. 
I'm getting nervous. She's getting crazy. What? It's like this is the only thing that matters. <laughs> JK, um, but my back does hurt and um, we've taken off almost April's finishing up the last little section. A thousand lights and my whole section's done. I put it back on there. Yeah, that whole section. Um, but then we're gonna put a thousand to fifteen hundred lights back on. So sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. This is fun, but we didn't have to buy a new tree, and we weren't wasteful. So how about that? And hopefully you guys learned something, because if you want to restring your light, you need to find the ones that are spaced out further. And I didn't know that. So education at its best. You can Boom. learn from me. Paula, we're gonna go see a movie. What movie? Ralph wrecks the internet. Wreck it, Ralph. Davy Paula hasn't seen Wreck It Ralph. What's that? Is that a big thing? Is that a big? Show Paula Wreck It Ralph right now. She hasn't seen the first one. She doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, go watch it right now. Is that a big guy with a red shirt? Ralph? And then the Candyland. What? He's in Candy and Vanilla P. Von Schweetz and they're racing cars. Hey Zade, um, to kick off a great day today, dad and mom bought movie tickets for the whole family to go see Re Ralph Rex the Internet too. What? What so, night? Yeah, six oh o'clock after dinner. Gosh, yes. I did okay, buy okay, tickets to see Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph. When are we gonna go? Six, six o'clock. Yes! Yay. Okay, the fun continues. Um, we got this whole section done. To the top and that. Top, but so we're basically Say halfway a third. there. Third. Oh no, because even these are though the sections are not equal. So. I think um, I'm like it is 4:51. We're going to the movies. Um, this is fun. This is exciting. Once we're done with this, this tree is like going new. to be amazing. Thumbs up for April's ingenuity. Later. Oh, we are at the movies. Paola is holding the camera. <laughs> this is very exciting. All right, finally Evie, you ready? You get to see Wreck It Ralph. Oh, Wreck It Ralph. Oh, do we should do it. Ralph breaks the internet. Here we go. Oh, EB, you want to go see the princesses? Yeah. We're going to see Wreck It Ralph. Say Wreck It Ralph. Ralph bakes the internet. I'm starting to understand why people like this game. Very zen. The bunny gets the pancake. Okay, reaction time. Ender, what did you think of the movie? It was amazing. It was so good. What was your favorite part? Uh, look, I don't have a favorite part. To all of it? Okay, Amber, what was your reaction? Did you like it? Oh, do you have a favorite part? All of it. That's my so good. EP, did you like the movie? Yeah, did Ralph break the internet? I absolutely loved the movie. I usually don't like sequels like that much. Like I didn't even I didn't like Incredibles 2 that much, but this movie was so good, taught good things, had a good lesson, good moral, and so funny and like just so good. Absolutely loved it. Like, um, go see it. Oh my gosh. I loved that movie. I loved that it was like so funny with all the internet stuff. But I liked the lesson that it taught too about friendship and just being secure and it's just great. I loved everything about it. The music was great. Love Imagine Dragons and it, this was the best Evie's ever done in a movie. She loved the whole thing. That was an amazing movie. You loved it. Have you seen the first one? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was so good. Yeah, I remember now. All right, guys, we're back at it. And restringing a 12 foot Christmas tree is actually a lot harder than you would think it would be. Or maybe it's exactly as hard as you That's think it would horrible. be. Horrible. Um, we've just, we've got a lot going on. We've got a little over, a lot of got concentration of light, some bare spots, but I think it's all gonna even out. And then we accidentally, uh, the plug-in has to reach the very top. <laughs> so we're gonna have to like strung, wrap an extension cord all the way up there. Anymore. Yeah, they're low. I thought you would have Wait, bought. they're gone. Oh, Wait, we have three there. more. 
Um, There's no way three more is going to fill up the rest of this and we have a blank spot. I'm oh. also just trying to picture... I can't picture a machine that would do this. And Could you I can't, imagine if this was your full-time job? I, I also can't picture workers doing this. This <laughs> is... I mean, it was done very well. So they're very skilled workers, but... Do you guys know, does anybody work in a Christmas tree stringing factory? Comment below if your dad works in a Christmas string stringing factory. Hey, before we end the vlog, I have a really good idea. April, did you ever think you'd see a hundred Christmas lights on your husband's face? What are you doing? Are those ones I could use? Where did you find those? Yeah, they're for the tree. Where did... I thought I wanted to see Like them. you took them out of a box and put them on your head? Yeah, ready to plug me in? <laughs> I don't have time for this. I don't know what you're doing. Plug me in. Three. Oh! I'm really fried. This is amazing. Wow. Pretty Tell good. me it's not amazing, it's right? Amazing. You're a creative genius. See? I knew you'd say that.